Hello and welcome to the next episode of Banner Saga with me, Windslayer. Or rather, this is Banner Saga 2. We're getting very close to the end here. And we just took on a uh, canary. There were a couple little horse born in the back row that we could have tried to fight down, but um, we didn't. Unfortunately, Gris, <laughs> Gris fell in battle, and Gris is one of my like go-to heroes, so we might have to rethink our strategy for the end game. A slight cream-colored horse born with flaxen hair steps out of the ranks of the wounded. Her blue war paint stands out against her otherwise yellow coloration. The remaining horseborn showed deference to her. Who are you? Mysterious horseborn. She says a few things in her foreign tongue of her people, but stops when she see sees you do not understand forgiveness. She says fluently, I speak to you. You have my weapon. Yes, I do have your weapon, and you knocked out Gris, you jerk. The extra renown point of or two that I got for continuing the fight probably wasn't worth Gris going down there. So cool. She serves me now, huh? Sorry for fight, not know at you. She speaks your language with confidence. What do you mean? Who are you? I lead herd. I am. The next word is long, shrill, confusing, but certain st sounds stand out. Canary? Canary <laughs> smiles and stomps the ground rhythmically with a hood. That's pretty funny. That's easy. Canary, yes, and you. My name is Alette. Good greetings. Our stories tell of stranger who come help us. You two legs that walk um, um, along for my kind with you already. Yes, she points to the horse born in your ranks. You attacked us. I should kill you. Mistake. Thought you'd want to kill us. I watch fight, I see your strength, I know you're a stranger from stories. Now we sorry, we follow you. Why? She issues a slew of sounds in her native tongue before translating. When sun stops and plane breaks and God appears, follow two legs that walk along four. This our story we hold true, you see these things. The sun has stopped and I've seen the ground breaking, but what God are you talking about? Large snake, not from this plane. The serpent, it certainly could be a god. You have seen the god too. You know these things. You lead us, we follow. Canary looks at you with the steady gaze instead of the constant movement you experienced with Diedru. Warn her that not everyone likes Horseborn. Most of the horsemen we haven't we've met have caused us harm including you many of my people won't want to be near your people not today but different day herds fight but forget humans for remember things a long time viral even longer herd believes leader we follow you herd grow stronger she bows again motions to her people and all the horse born join your ranks as a re at a respectful distance uh, it's like you don't even have a choice. You can't be like, no. <laughs> That's a little bit weird. Sorry, Gris, my friend. Who are we going to take in our rotation other than Gris? Because we can't have somebody with minus six strength. That's just not going to work. Hakon has some decent armor break. Let's be very, very careful with him.
He can throw people away from him using his knockback. That's if Gris doesn't heal up before the epic finale battle. Uden, what have you been doing this whole time? You've just been hanging out, doing your thing. Oh, Trigby can't have the uh, item that I wanted to have him switch because I'm not sure if Ludin will be around for... I didn't mean to click on that. For um, much of Banner Saga... What you call it? Banner Saga 3. He might get killed off pretty quickly. There may have been a hero I could have recruited, or not recruited, uh, upgraded, like Alette, good old Alette. Can you take another upgrade, please? Oh, just perfect. Okay. I will think about that before the next combat. I know that I can upgrade a let. If I see Arboring on the horizon, I'll just jump back in this and, and try and do that. I feel like they it's Arboring. They say the moon and stars are always visible when you look at Loiga's godstone. How can that be true? This looks interesting, whatever that is. Okay. The moon, her spirit, the stars, her eyes, Aleo says, plucking a few strings of his instrument. Lagua, the God of beauty and well of things that happen it in the night. This god smiles. The god may be dead, but my wife still prays to Lagua. I'm thankful for her piety. <laughs> the skald is not the only one smiling. A quick look around reveals grins throughout the caravan. I see why Arbring has grown so quickly over the years, you say, and the skald laughs. A truth spoken in front of Ogu's stone is supposed to ripple through the night, either strengthening a lover's resolve or carrying away undesired affection. Aleo skips away to his wife, no, to find his wife. Hey, you hear the unmistakable clank of eagle's shield behind you. Ogu's godstone is beautiful, isn't it? Yes, beautiful. He isn't looking at the godstone. We've come all this way. We fought Dredge, killed Asunder. Aleo says we're destined to bring all clans together. Aleo's a scald, Gil. Storytelling is his job. She calls him Gil. Eagle shrugs. It's still neat to think we're part of something bigger. He, w His wonder is refreshing. You smile at him. He looks up at the godstone and takes, takes a deep breath. Alette, it's a miracle that I'm alive. So I've got to tell you something before my luck fades. Bean forward and smile. Gil stands taller and steps closer to you. Alet, you're the strongest and smartest woman I've known I've ever known. Your beauty shames the dawn's light on a clear spring morning. Aw. You raise an eyebrow at him. Sorry, Aleo tried to help me put my thoughts into words. <laughs> Alette, I love you. 
His tone is sincere. His eyes hold no expectations. And you don't have to love me back, but I had to say it. I let or he exhales, relief of a great burden. Hoping you'd say that you were? Don't act so surprised. You're a brave fighter who always treats me with respect. I hope you know I feel strongly for you, but until everyone is safe in our ring, I just needed you to hear it from me, and I'm glad you wanted to hear it. And if and when you know you love me too, you can find me, okay? Your eyes feel wet as you smile and nod. Eagle grabs your hand and kisses it before leaving. So sweet. So, so sweet. Yay! That's the entire reason I played this game. To ship them. They're, they're a couple now, right? He can't die in Banner Saga 3. I won't let it. I might actually do a little bit of reloading if I find out that he dies from my decisions, because I will not allow it. Well, actually, I might have to. I might just have to play with those decisions. I'll be very sad. And then have to do another playthrough where I get the Stone Singer through the freaking last chapter. There's Arboring, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, I think we're gonna upgrade Alette just in case we don't get the chance to later. But there's an item we can buy once we're inside Arboring before the final battle, but. I don't know. Kind of want to get her stats maxed out, put her her willpower on uh, in the regeneration phase. So like, whenever I use her, I can just like throw willpower into it. Ranged knockback on strength attacks, minus two armor. Solvi's method. It's not that good. I think what she has is better. Wow, the audio seems really loud in my ear. It's just kind of loud. way her mend ability will actually be useful in the next game. I can really, really help my friends out with that. I gotta start using that more. I could have probably saved what's his face with the mend. Gris. Gris probably didn't need to go down in that last fight. Gris, you gotta get better. can have great morale I'd rather I don't think it's too important now of course it goes down immediately finally we made it but why are so many camped outside the walls they must have seen the darkness approaching I do love that they have a let voice over there a little voice over for a let there it's it's quite cool Wind ripples across tents, which multiply the closer you get to Arboring. Dung litters the path, and it is clearly not all from Yox. Rattling coughs mix with recourse laughter. Small fights break out for no re apparent reason. Curious eyes grow wide as they spot the Varl and Horseborn. Mothers grab their children, mend their weapons. 
various clan banners snap and whip in the wind. You recognize the heraldry of Callus Carl Huss from Aleo's Tales and Strand's banners from previous talks with Ubin. Oh, Strand's here. That's cool. There are even a few Cragsman banners by their muddy appearance. You also notice the division between each clan. There is no mixing or unity. I don't know what the Carl Rush is, but okay. I'll push ahead, Prince Luden says. My father will want to see me, and I'll be able to find out what exactly is going on here. Yuzir and a few fighters escort him through the crowd towards the walls. Old Akadan's people are here. You hear a woman um, from your caravan shout. And I'll, I have to check on him. Others are finding fa familiar clan, clans and kin as well, slowly drifting from your banner. Um, not that one. We stay together until we're behind Arborang's walls. The strain clans and stop and look around to see what others are doing and see and how those saved took flight. Hello, things leaving the pack like filthy scavengers instead of wolves. The fear of being remembered this way in a song is enough to move them back in line. Thanks, Aleo. Wait, before we go, did I just get enough caravan to get her to level 10? Is it time, my dear? Yes. All right, so now I actually have to figure out what I want to spend these points on, which I hadn't thought about like at all. Hmm. Well, I could actually go for some break here since her item does help her with break. Or I can increase her crit chance and her re willpower regeneration. Fifteen versus ten. Two willpower instead of one. Twenty percent to just resist armor damage is pretty good. She really sh shouldn't be getting attacked if I use her right. And a lot of these things are like after they get attacked. This is dodge. I could try and have her cause puncture when all of her skills basically do puncture already. Either mend or overwatch. If I keep doing this, she can overwatch really well. Let's do that, I think. Even though I could just go to 15% avoid armor damage. People probably aren't going to do that much armor damage to her. Okay, that seems like a pretty good build for Alette. Level 10 Alette. 
You did it, Alette. You got to level 10. I didn't think you would. I only got two of my characters to level 10. And I'm afraid Eagle might die. But if he does, he does. We had 10 days of extra supplies. That's not bad. When the crowd is the most dense in volume and number, the caravan comes to a stop. Ahead, you notice a sharp line where the tents and people stop. The ground beyond is pinned with arrows and not much else. A few hundred yards of empty space between these people and Arborang's walls. What is this, you ask, confused by all you are taking in? This is, that's the peaceful bit, the older fighter says near you. He looks uh, the type who has seen enough things to lack enthusiasm for much of anything. The king's men can't kill us from the walls, and we can't kill them from here. But what's caused the fighting, you ask? The man smiles, his face unaccustomed to the action. Come on, Sunderslayer, he says. It's the same damn thing that causes every fight. They've got something we want. King's got food and protective walls. We're starving with our asses facing that rolling darkness. His words deal you a heavy blow. So our brains at war? The man laughs a wicked laugh. That's putting it lightly, he says. From what I can tell, this is the rest of our kind. You brought the last of the varl and even dragged some worthless horseborn. This fights for survival. Winner lives. Loser's gone forever. His laugh turns to hysteria and you leave unsettled. Uh, yeah. That's definitely not what you want to hear when you get to salvation. The ox are tended, and tents aligned at best, uh, as best as possible. Some are repairing their armor. Others look anxious to talk to various clans. The king's eyes scan the field as he approaches. I want to know what's going on here as much as you, he says, but we better find a way to defend our gear and supplies. Those other cans could form a mod if they discover we have food. Seeing the hungry eyes all around you, you agree. We've got an issue, Audley says. I don't know why, but the other clans don't like the Horseborn, or the Varl for that matter. They're starting trouble, and I'm going to stop it. Me too. would like to stop troublemakers. Skatchic has his weapon drawn and a few Vral are standing near him with shields up. Humans in growing numbers are hurling every sort of curse at them. What's the problem here? The problem is you brought a bunch of animals with you and you don't have them tied up properly. A man sh shouts. The fighters around him laugh, bark. And whips uh, and whip rope in the air. You hear the vol growl. Before you can calm the situation, man says, The little girl and her pets need a lesson, don't they? The fighters roar and charge you. Okay, well. They're, uh, they're lost. If they die, they die. Oh, great. Oddleaf is in here, huh? Hey, Gris is healed up. That's nice. Thanks, Gris, for, uh, Deciding to join us. Yes, Oddleaf is required, unfortunately. Alright, let's bring him instead then. Of course she's required. She's garbage. 17. Can't quite improve him. I'd like to upgrade Sketch Hatch uh, next if possible, although I'm not sure what I'd put on him. Maybe Willpower? Because he seems to run out of it pretty quickly. I took the item off of Grist, didn't I? Uh, 
Hakon took it. I don't see Hakon here. Hakon. I think I may have had two of them. Either that or it gave it back to me, which is nice. Alright, I let can mend, she can overwatch, she can do a lot of different things here, which I should try and do. Let's be careful and win this fight. To prove that we we deserve to be an arboring. We're surrounded by some spearmen over here, which are gonna be very easy to kill with her overwatch if I place her correctly. And I wanna focus on these guys up north, and then we'll pick off those ones in the south with like Gris or something. Let's have you charge in her, into her if you can. He can go four tiles, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. use trample effectively <laughs> she just dead <laughs> okay he's coming up and he's going to attack this guy now probably should have moved so I didn't move towards him could have done that right eagle you can run through him how far does your run through go now? One, two, three, four. All right, well, let's just go here then. Run through him, because he's coming up soon, unfortunately. Like next. her alive just so we can uh, get more turns before these guys get to do anything too crazy. It's overwatch time. These guys are all going to move into her range here. Right? No? Almost? Most of them? There we go. Nice crit. A six hit, just like that. Deflected. So he's going to run towards Gris, probably, right there. You can stop him with a rain of arrows.
Let's invest heavily in that. I do like her Reign of Arrows skill. It's quite useful. Ouch. You actually got to her. Surprising. Start helping out a little, a, a little bit. <laughs> nice, <laughs> perfect. Did that interrupt his thing? <laughs> he did it afterwards, but the animation got interrupted. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Sure, let's run through him. And then he's gonna move up here to attack, but it's fine. Or not. <laughs> Silly humans. Dead. No? Not dead. I thought you just have uh, died right there. So he's not in rotation, but he is. Which means I would like to go down here and poison tip him. Nice. Oops. That killed him. Didn't mean to kill him. So you can go one, two, three. Spearmen are supposed to be good against horses. Apparently not these ones. Sure, he's only got one attack, but he's the only one Gil can get to. Good job.
nice thing about Thread the Needle is it just does one arm, or one point of damage even when she's low. It's not the worst skill, it does have some advantages. Jabalette, you kept your team from falling there. And you got 12 more renown. I could probably afford to level up Sketch Hatch. Fighters fall and others nod their approval of you defending your clan. You're tired and irritated as you shuffle back to the front of the caravan. I've discovered what these battle lines are all about, Ruga says. The kings shut his people out. These clans are here to see that he feeds and protects his people as he's supposed to, and they've chose me to lead that cause. <laughs> he laughs at your incredulous look. I'm just as surprised, but I need to talk to you in private. You nod, and the two of you enter a large empty tent. I thought we were enemies. What? What? The tent flaps open, leaving you and Ruga alone, both armed. No need to mince words now, is there? I know you want to kill me. Only when I think about how you betrayed us. Let's be clear. If either of us leaves this tent without the other, the fields around us will turn red. Then talk quickly. I don't want to look at you any longer than I have to. Ruga snorts his amusement. I wasn't making that stuff out up outside about the king. He really has shut us up. Uh, shut all of us out. It started a few months ago when he started stockpiling food and slowing trade. Once the wealthy families were all pulled inside the walls, he shut the gates. The only thing he said is that he can't feed everyone. Oh, and his archers found on anyone who gets close. You watch Riga closely while deciding what to say. Why should I believe you at all? Because you see all the people gathered. Do you think they're out here for fun? No, but maybe you don't know the whole story. If you're the king and your people are starving at your gates, do you let them in or do you keep them out? Don't answer. We both know you let them in, unless you knew something you weren't telling them. Either way, the people have the right to an answer or the food that they sent him and our, and our brings protection. I think you'd agree the food and walls belong to the kingdom, not the king. So you plan to break down his walls? That's, that's the last thing I want to do. We need to, those walls to stop the dredge and whatever else is coming behind them. But if we have to destroy them, we will. Maybe the menders inside can repair any damage. There might be ways past these first few walls, but the black wall? The governor just shakes his head. Wait, how did you come to lead the clans? Borsgard is was the largest human town next to the capital. You don't become governor of a place without certain skills and powerful friends. And what are those certain skills? The governor just smiles. So this war is unavoidable? Probably. I officially meet the king in a few hours to either come to agreement or pull our banners from his. I won't be surprised if you're invited to the mighty Sunder Slayer and army. If so, make your decisions carefully. His tones, his tone is not exactly threatening. Not exactly. You move the tent flaps, and both of you open them simultaneously so that no fight breaks out. 
Well then. Can I finish the game in 20 minutes? Probably not. Let's take your time with training, market, heroes, that type of stuff. Let's go to the market first. Oh, no great items. That's sad. I was hoping there'd be like a something for a rank 10 here, but I passed up all that stuff earlier, I think. Wait a minute. That's actually really good. Plus 3 will. Plus 2 strength. Plus 2 in will talents. Would basically make it so that Elite could always use her her willpower that just like always constantly be mending and shooting and she'd have more strength. Sure her range would be lower which is actually a pretty big part of her strategy but that's a decent choice at 12. I'd rather rank up this dude I think. I hope he doesn't run off. I bet I spent a bunch of renown on him and then he runs off. could spend 17 on him. And I'd probably put one point into this at least. His special ability is really good. Two move, minus one drawing aggro is nice too. With what's her face mending him, he can just avoid. He doesn't need to have Titan. He can just uh, avoid armor damage potentially, hopefully. I think it might be better just to put all his stuff into willpower because he always runs out of willpower. I'm always using his skills and always running out of willpower. Let's see what he has to say before we actually invest in him, because he might be just about to disappear. Catch Hatch and DeAndrew pace nervously, keeping their distance from humans, Varl, and other horseborn. Rogue patrols around the two a short distance away, nodding to you briefly. Is everything okay? Many mans. More than we know live. You stop to look around at the thousands of tents in the fields and hundreds of homes beyond the capital's walls. I'm from a small village. I'm not used to seeing so many people either. Maybe heard too big. So many mouths hungry. If some dead, more easy feed heard. Skathex stops the ground and says a few shrills notes to Deandra before turning to you. So that's that's what um, the king's thinking. And Skathex's like, no, we can't do that. We gotta side with Aruga. It's so backwards. Deandra forgets we are not the same thinking with mans. If you think Big Herd is right, we will think Big Herd is right. But what do you think is right, Skathex? The male horseborn looks at Arboring for a few moments while swishing his tail in thought. I think Big Herd kick each other in small fields. He points to Arboring. Small fields behind walls. You thank them for talking and offer them a few calming words before departing. Yeah, I hope he's going to be around for a while. He's a pretty cool character. Let's invest in him. Let's give him some renown. I think he's going to be upset when I'm like, we can't help out the, uh, ooh, I can invest in her. I think I could have had Canary in my party, but I didn't, like, get all friendly with her because I don't trust Canary. I just don't. Hey, Hakon's back. Good to see you, Hakon. So I am 
improved his ability here, huh? Now I can knock back up to four tiles, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it like that. Too much willpower. If I get him on willpower regeneration, he can just constantly use his crazy abilities. I want to dodge strength damage if I can. Armor damage. Ooh, causing puncture would be nice. So this is avoid strength damage. If he had more linkage, I could give him that perk. That's pretty good. Resisting one point is okay too. He's got a decent amount of willpower. It's good to have some nice levels on some of my favorites. Trigby, what do you have to say to me? The former cracksman is trying to lure something out of a hole with a small piece of dried meat on a string. He leaves it dangling by his side while standing, while standing to talk. I didn't know he was a former um, cracksman. That kind of makes sense, though, doesn't it? Crazy, he's got these little tattoos on him. It looks like you're keeping busy. Playing, I'm playing fox and hare with a vole. Do you think foxes ever play trophy and vole? No. Trophy looks disappointed. Do you have an idea on how many, on how to keep two groups from killing each other? Any pounders or relics or crazy schemes? He reaches into his tunic and grabs something, pauses, releases whatever it is, and shakes his head. <laughs> People kill each other every day. Now enjoy the show. But if it comes to war, I don't think either side will leave us out of it. Trigby comes, uh, thinks about what you're saying, tapping his fingernail against his teeth. He looks at his finger, sneers, and spits. Killing kings requires a lot of lives. It's just an easy, it's just as easy to kill clansmen instead. Either way, some will praise you and others will throw dung in, at your face. Or you could collect all the dung in the giant hall, stand on top of it, and be your own king. <laughs> as you watch him crouch back down to the hole, you wonder what possessed you to speak to him. Humor. Just humor. Calm down, Alette. I think he's funny. The scald is trying a dyed strip of cloth into his is tying his dyed strip of cloth into his daughter's hair, but sends her off to play as you near. <laughs> it's, it's rhyming even when he's not talking. <laughs> We've come all the way for war. Come all this way for war. With luck, I might change their minds, and be the reed that would stop the wind. I've got a lyric for every moment, don't you? You've got a lyric for every moment, don't you? Of course, plenty before us have been in similar situ situations and written about it. We only think our lives uh, are unique. And if peace is not an option, is there a scald song for that? Plenty, but I'll tell you what I'd do. Save the families who can't save themselves. Can't imagine if my wife and child were left out there, like they don't deserve the same protection as others. Aleo's words flood your mind, flood your thoughts as you walk away. Seems like we got a side with Ruga. I don't like that. I don't trust him. And then the other side of it is... Um, what's his face? The other side of it is... Uh, Luden's dad, and I like Luden. Let's see, how much longer do I have left in this episode? About 
10 minutes. I don't think you kill 10 minutes um, talking. I'm probably going to start up the end game stuff early. End this episode a little bit before I usually do. So we were here when Ivor went off this way to get to Manahar. Eagle Horn. Interesting. Disuse. Strand still hasn't been taken over somehow. Oh, that's cool. We started off here and it's still around. Yeah, they're going to use these locations in the next one. That's my prediction. should be reading this. In the first great war, men of Prawl fought viciously for Rudwall's abundant farmlands and coasts overflowing with fish. Only with the help of menders would Rudwall eventually become a home of Arborang, the capital of Man and Manhar, which the menders would gather and counsel. Okay, so Man is originally from, like, Stormland or something like that, I think. is the way one caravan went and the other caravan went south meaning we didn't explore a lot of these locations I bet you'll have like one caravan that takes the boats up here and then you'll have another one that goes along this route to get north either that or, or one's going to go south and one's going to go north We've only got four renown. Sure, let's start this right here. Just for like five or so minutes. Before you head towards the large tent oddly stops you. Are you certain you're ready for what could happen out there? Her worried looks her worried look is infectious. The king may be a decent man, but I doubt he's kept his throne by allowing by always following the rules. I'm prepared. I'm glad to hear the confidence in your voice, oddly says. Just be careful. I'll be back here with the rest of the clan if you need me. You smile and make your way past the line of clansmen, marking the boundary of the peaceful bit. The voices coming from the from under the tent are louder, animated, best we could. You've done well. I never thought I'd see my son again. Well, we've all had easier journeys. Or journeys. The king's cheerful mood lessens. He's about to say something when he sees you approaching. Who is this? Greetings, King Maynoff. My name is Aled, and I'm from Skroger. Ludin steps forward. Father, this is the Sunder Slayer I've told you about. King may not glance at you in size. Son, you can introduce your pretty country girl later. You and Ludin both turn red, but your temper, but you temper your anger to address the king, uh, as the king addresses Hakon. It pains me to hear you've lost so many at your hardy, so many of your hardy warriors, Hakon. But tell me, where is Gender's Kender, Wagner? <laughs> Wagner died protecting your son. I was Wagner's Kender, with. Jonder's death at Eintopt, I am the king of the few remaining Varl. The king says nothing, contemplating the news. 
Your walls are the last hope for mankind. No sense in denying it. I understand, and of course you have my refuge here. The least I, I can do for bringing my son back alive. I'll be tight, but I'm sure we can find a place for you. King Maynoth, Alette is here just as much responsible for the prince's safe return. She has quite a few clansmen. Careful, Varl. This is a human capital, and my generosity is already stretched thin. Hakon looks at you and shrugs. Tell me, girl, why are you leading an entire caravan of human and horseborn? Why didn't one of the men take point? <laughs> I really want to say the last one, King Maynoth. I'll just say I am Sunderslayer. The doy, so I heard. Though some might say it was your father who did all the work there too. You say nothing. Oh, I should have been mean. But even if Beller was real, and you were the one who defeated him, what does one victory actually amount to? The Sunder was real, the Varl lies lost at Grafheim, and Eintacht can vouch for him. And my victories have continued with every clansman life I've saved on our way here. Well said. The results of daily tasks are more than the outcome on the battlefield. Only now do you see Ruga and two dozen fighters approaching. The king's guard look <laughs> concerned. Yes. Is that the lamb? Ruga. I mean, off. I should have killed you when I had the chance. You tried, remember? Is that why he's got one hand? It's gotta be why he's got one hand. You know what? It's pretty close to the hour here, so I'm gonna end this episode on YouTube and start up what I assume will be the last one, because I think this is the last fight here. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel. I've got links to the social media profiles in the description below. See you around for the next one.